Hey there, Sagittarius. I hope you guys are doing really well. I want to go ahead and get into a love energy reading for you, relationship energy reading. These are timeless. These are also general energies, so they're not going to resonate with every single Sagittarius. Feel free to check out your other readings, though, in your other placements and see if those messages resonate for you, okay? And feel free to like the video if you so feel inclined. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Show me energy for the sign of Sagittarius, please. Show me energy and connections for Sagittarius, please. We have extended lovemaking. <sighs> Obsessed in a good way. Get to use this one, okay. Um, show me more for Sagittarius cycle complete. Got my heart wide open. Okay, <laughs> I mean, okay. Um, sounds pretty good so far, Sagittarius. So let's get into it. Extended love making, obsessed in a good way, cycle complete. You've got my heart wide open. I, I mean, like just by these cards, it feels like somebody's like falling in love, falling in love, falling hard. Both people are falling in love. Um, what is that? What is that? Hang on, I'm gonna pause this really quick, okay? Well, I'm gonna, I just, I'm like, hang on, I'll be right back. So Sagittarius, this is the um, this is the song that just started playing really, really heavily in my head, and I had to write it down for you. Um, if you are interested, go check it out. Let's get into this reading. Listen to it with headphones. <laughs> Um, extended lovemaking. Please show me extended lovemaking. We have the King of Wands here. Oh my god. You've got the Queen of Wands here. Wow. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> like, what the hell, y'all? Um, okay, so you've got the King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups, bottom of the deck, you've got the Temperance card. This is about blending. <clears throat> uh, blending. Extended lovemaking. So that's an interesting energy in, in a way to see it with... Um, with the Temperance energy. This is your energy, Sag. Um... Blending. What I'm, I'm, what I'm seeing is like this is gonna sound really, maybe a little bit over the top, but for some of you, whomever this is resonating for, it's like exchanging, like energy, exchanging fluids, like exchange. It's like the unity in a situation where two become one. That's what this card is about. This is the alchemical marriage. This is emotions on the highest, in the highest sense of satisfaction here. Show me obsessed in a good way. You got the sun. Is it in reverse? We're gonna toss it that way and see what comes. Yeah, it's in reverse. Okay. Got the Knight of Cups. Got the hangman here. <clears throat> Obsessed in a good way. With the sun, um, the sun in reverse is not a bad card. The sun in reverse is just like things that, like uh, the explosion of emotions that aren't ready to be shared quite yet, or they're not quite uh, above water, above water, above water. Is that what we're saying? <clears throat> It 
it's like I'm seeing two people so close together. It's like their breath is like in the same energy. Um, <clears throat> I feel like this is, on a, uh, this, okay, so this energy with the sun in reverse and the hangman upright with the uh, knight of cups, this energy is one of like, um, I just, I'm trying to like recognize how I feel right now and it's just like this elated energy, which is really nice. Um, that was not happening with the last reading that I did. Which reading did I just do? Yeah, no. I just did another reading where it's like there was a lot of harsh energy. This is a complete energetic shift. <clears throat> um, yeah, this energy here, Sagittarius, is one of taking a pause. It's one of being intentional in how much we show. Um, and there's, it's not like, it's like trying to be conscious and intentional in how much we're like expressing. Because sometimes we don't want it all to just be out on the table. Like sometimes we want to like slowly integrate. But here it's almost as if like the physical chemistry is forcing us together. So maybe we need to take a moment and like look at it from more angles. Because um, here it feels like with the two of wands at the bottom of the deck, this is an opportunity to grow in a different way. This is a new path. This is about new paths, new choices. And it feels like this connection is bound to be together. That's what it feels like here, Sag. Um, show me cycle complete for Sagittarius. You have the High Priestess. You have the Three of Pentacles here. I'm sorry, Three of Wands. And we have the Four of Swords here. Um, this is interesting because it's like through progress and patience, we're allowed to heal. There's been some sort of internal experience here that has been a little bit... Um, just kind of holds things back. It's it's being hyper aware. Hyper aware is what I'm getting here. I'm going to get another deck really quick and check this energy out just to see. What is this uh, cycle complete about? Turn my whole world upside down in a good way. More? We have air. Um, and then here we have, I don't want to have feelings for you. Um, that is an interesting energy just because like it very much connects with the air energy. Very cerebral, very much in our head. Here everything is feeling. Here everything is like bound by sexual energy, by chemistry. And it's like I think somebody's like taking a pause to like try to like figure out how it fits. But the interesting thing is like internally this is rocking their world. And so they may need some time to kind of acclimate to this energy. Go slowly because... I'm saying go slowly because it feels like all of this is like passion, passion, passion. It's very interesting, though. You've got my heart wide open. I don't think this is something somebody expected here. Sagittarius is kind of what I'm picking up on. Like, like I was just going to the store and then like, holy crap, you're like in my life, in my kitchen. Like, you've cut the crusts off my sandwich. Like, what's going on here? You've got my heart wide open for Sagittarius. Could be dealing with an air sign. I mean, you you both come up though as the king and queen of wands with the ten of cups. <laughs> like it's pretty harmonious to me. Um, show me you've got my heart wide open. You've got the knight of pentacles, six of wands. the emperor bottom of the deck you have the fool and this is somebody that's facing their fears or if there were any fears or like over 
uh, <laughs> analysis paralysis regarding the situation. I feel like this person is mastering that, but like the way that they do it is one of intention. I don't, I don't see any way in this reading that like somebody is not wanting to go the long haul here. This is literally what I have for you. Like this is falling in love and needing to pace it because everything feels like it's like rocket ships and like explosions, but also high passion, high um, expression, uh, sensual, sensual, sensual. I feel like somebody's like on my neck right now. Um, lock it down. Lock it down. Be slow and intentional, but with that, lock it down. This feels really, really good. Is there anything else that we need? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. We've got thinker, somebody that's very much in their head about situations and they have to look at it from every angle. This person could be 44 years old, doesn't have to be. Show me more. Yep. We've got new life and fork in the road at the bottom of the deck for that. Um, fork in the road is that two of wands energy that popped up earlier, I believe. Um, this is, uh, this is about weighing the options, weighing the pros and cons, weighing how we figure out how to connect this even deeper. This is a new life. This is a new opportunity here. You've got the fool, you've got the new life card. This is just like, kind of like being struck by like reality. Like, wait a minute, is this actually happening? Check out that song. If this is for you. Okay. I love you guys. I hope that this is your reading. This is like really beautiful and really connected and steamy and um, has the ability to actually create something for the long term with the Knight of Pentacles and the Emperor. This doesn't, this energy doesn't show up unless like there's true intention behind it, true intention to see it through. This person recognizes your value. You've got my heart wide open. They see you for who you are. And they're ready to show up here. This is a this is a go getter. This is somebody that takes leadership, leadership, leadership energy. They protect what is theirs. Yeah, that's about unity. This is union connection, working on the same page together. This is taking the next phase in connections here. This is a new beginning. Whomever this is, you're like deeply falling in love. I don't even know how to say it anymore. All right, I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.